Still in Colombia, severe crimes were reported by the Attorney General's office about a crime network that may be serving electoral campaigns for Congress members, candidates of the Conservative Party and right-wing party Centro Democrático in Colombia. Y a los the Attorney General presented a report on electoral corruption. Investigations revealed cases of excessive budgets for electoral campaigns as well as vote trafficking, voter manipulation, ballot stuffing and fake public documents. We found irregularities in different regions of the country. Among the detained people, there are officials of different levels who were also able to identify more than 2,000 mediators that benefited Congress members. Among the most important cases are candidate Aida Merlano from the Conservative Party, as well as Margarita Restrepo and Maria Fernanda Cabal from Centro Democrático, who have been linked with threats against workers and also with vote trafficking. There were alleged threats against teachers of kindergartens in the Kennedy community. They said that if they didn't vote for whom they were told, their contracts wouldn't be renewed. For some senators, this goes against democracy, so they criticize the duty of the attorney's office. Many politicians are in power thanks to corruption, but they have never been investigated. I know many Congress members are elected via vote buying, so I was expecting some important members to be in those investigations. But the truth is that they aren't even scratching the surface of this situation. The Attorney General's office will organize interrogations and will send copies of the investigations to the Supreme Court of Justice.